So today I'm going to show you a little trick using lard to prevent the caterpillars from going up the trunk. I'm going to try something today to prevent these caterpillars from climbing up the trees. And we'll see. i got to first try to get the caterpillars down. And uh, that'll be something. And then uh, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So stay tuned a little bit later, okay? Thanks for tuning in to my channel. And thanks for tuning in to this episode of Chronicles of a Farmstay Startup here at the Hidden Spring Farm. I got a problem, guys. Big problem. This is one of my antique apple trees. We have five of them. And they are being devoured by caterpillars. Little caterpillars, big caterpillars, tiny caterpillars. You name it, we got it. They climb up the trunk and they eat the leaves. All oh, the leaves, guys. But first... I must say guys, it's pretty awesome having these two cats follow me around wherever I go on the farm. There's Stormy over there and here's Smokey. Look at him. Smoke. <laughs> yeah, they follow me around wherever I go. And you know, lately they've been sleeping a lot in the daytime. But for some reason today, I'm out here working on my chicken house and uh, they're just keeping me company, these amazing, amazing cats. Yeah, they're cats now. I, I can't call them kittens anymore. Stormy's like, Stormy's like, uh, what, 10 months old? No, 11 months old. Stormy's 11 months old. And Smokey is January, June, so he's six months old. So, I don't know. Smokey, he's still a kitten. Stormy, she's almost a year, so maybe she's really a, a full 
a full-fledged cat now. But uh, these cats are awesome. I love them. I hope you guys are enjoying them too. <laughs> it's so fun having these cats roaming around the whole farm. Makes me feel good as the owner or the dad that these cats are going to have a really good life. They're really going to have a good life. They're free. It's like they're living in the wild, but at the same time, somebody's looking out for them. Somebody's caring for them. And that's my responsibility. And I take it very seriously. And I love these cats. And uh, as long as they are in their keep here at the farm, we'll get along fine. <laughs> yeah, first thing in the morning, they come and greet the car. It's like, what are you guys doing? Sometimes they block the car, guys. Look, he's right there. He's hunting. He's hunting right now. He hears birds chirping over there. I hear the birds, and I know that he's looking at the birds. These guys are awesome. Wanted to talk to you today about something, guys, because I got big problem. Huge! This tree here is an antique apple tree. I don't know how old it is, but it's pretty old. I'd say definitely it's over 50 years old. I pruned them back hard last year. I'm trying to save their life. But guess what, guys? Gypsy moth caterpillars. It's bad. It's really, really bad this year. Now, I know that there's a spray or a powder that you can get what is it? BT? Maybe I'll do that next year, but I'm a little late this year, so I missed the boat on that. It's my bad. I take responsibility, and now my orchard's paying the price. Not only the orchard, other trees around the property. Gotta put it on real thick. Okay, I'm done. Done pasting a ring around the tree. Tender flay! This is pure lard, one pound. I don't know how much it was. My wife bought it for me, a couple bucks probably. She bought a whole bunch of them because we need to take drastic measures. We're gonna lose our fruits because the trees are gonna be defoliated. There's not gonna be any photosynthesis happening to grow the fruits. You all remember science class. You need the sunlight to go into the chlorophyll to do the photosynthesis thing. Just lard, guys. I spread it around with a little trowel, just like this. It's really sticky. Now I gotta try to get all the caterpillars off. If they're on the ground, I'm gonna stomp them too, little buggers. Definitely coming off with the hose, guys. Need a steady stream of water and they just come off. Some of them are a bit stubborn. Some of the big ones that are really, you know, because their feet got those little suction cup things, eh? They stick them on. But I gotta get them all off. Once they're on the ground, I'll try to squish them. And whatever ones that are left on the ground, I'm sure they're gonna try to climb back up the tree. And let's see if they can. This is a pretty stupid way to get the caterpillars down with a stream of water, but I don't know what else to do. The trees are pretty tall, like I can't get up there on a ladder. So, but at least if I flick it around the water a little bit, they seem to fall. Once they fall, I can squish them and I'll see if they start, if they start climbing up the tree again. I'll show you in a minute, let's see. Let's see if this works, guys. I just spent the better part of two hours 
using a hose and a sprayer to spray off all the little caterpillars. That's not really a good use of my time. I don't know what I'm doing. If anybody's got a good idea how to get rid of these, I gotta get myself some BT. I heard of this BT stuff that uh, is really good for caterpillars. And, uh, but I don't know much about it and I've never heard of it before and I don't know how to use it so I need to do a little bit of research. For now, what am I going to do? I got these things attacking my orchard. But this hack really works guys. It really works. I sprayed off most of the caterpillars. There may be a few left. I'll check it again later. But look at this. They're crawling up but they don't like crawling on the lard. They're all over the place, guys. Look at this. Woo! Look at this, they're all over. They're all inside, but they can't go up the lard. I can't believe that it works. Oh my lord, what do I do with that now? Or maybe I can get my blowtorch out and just torch them off, but that might damage the tree. Or it might set my grass on fire. Hmm. What can I do with them? I could collect them in a bucket and then set them on fire. There's one more right here. Got um. See, once they're down, guys, they can't climb up the trunk. I am amazed, astounded. Wonder how long the lard would last. Like, does it melt in the sun? Or is it just enough time for you to get the caterpillars? And what about the dog? I bet you the dog will eat the lard. What about, what about other animals? Are they attracted to the smell of fat? Lard is like fat, right? Anyway, it worked. That's amazing. I am amazed. Whoever came up with this is a genius and it wasn't me. I'd like to think it was me, but it wasn't me, guys. <laughs> oh, one's on my leg. Oh. Anyways, if you got the heebie-jeebies, this is not a good project for you because it's gross. I feel like something's climbing on me all the time now. Check out our orchard, guys. What do you think? It's coming together. I put some of this lard pretty well on all of my trees except these big apples I got to get this apple this apple and then those two apples down there I got to get them done but all the small trees now have them I got to try to protect our fruits Okay, let's see how that's gonna work. Hopefully it'll let my apples grow bigger. What a disaster. But the trick works, guys. If you guys have this problem and you need an immediate solution and you have some lard in your cupboard, slap it on the bottom of the trunks of the trees and it'll stop the caterpillars from climbing up. It works, guys. Tried, tested, and true. It works. Four more antique trees to go. That took me about two hours. This is no good. There's gotta be a better solution. Next year, I promise guys, next year I'm going to be spraying in the early spring. I'm going to do a dormant oil on all the trees before they start to sprout. And I'm going to make sure I have some of this BT stuff on standby. And I'm going to be on the lookout. We got these Japanese beetle traps. They're doing their job. Yeah, need to really start paying attention to this orchard. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Take care, eh? Don't forget to click that subscribe if you like this little trick. Lard, shortening, any kind of fat, spread it around the tree and the caterpillars don't climb up. <laughs> Who knew? Thanks guys, take care, eh?